I just wanted to put this little video together because of the Queen's Jubilee. Uh, Jeff actually sent this to me because I didn't watch it live and I'm pretty blown away with what I see and it's just amazing. So she here she is being presented with the crown and it's blue, right? So the blue represents lapis lazuli, which goes back to Egypt. It also goes back to Cleopatra, which is the powder that Cleopatra wore um, over her eyelids, which is the blue lapis lazuli. I also wear it on my neck. You can get kind of a greeny blue color. And this is, you want to wear it from your neck up because it activates your higher mind. Okay, so she's, and it's also in the shape of a pearl in the crown. So he's presenting that to her. And if you notice, this is at 9.30 at night in London. And let's go look at the sky to see what they're telling us. This is the platinum jubilee, but platinum is similar to silver in color. So the silver gate is right between the horns of Taurus. And the sun happens to be there on the jubilee so it's like it's inside that gate the crown and taurus is ruled by earth and venus which is everything that's beautiful everything you know venus represents love but it also represents the currency like possessions okay so when you're uh, connected to materialism in a way or you could say connected to mother earth as well or connected to your currency, which is like your third eye, because Taurus represents your third eye. A lot of the um, the maps that you see with the plant, you know, the constellations are running through the body. You know, some people have Aquarius at the top, but esoterically Aries is always at, at the top. And the third eye uh, is Taurus, but sometimes they have it as the throat. But you know, everything is connected to our bodies and we have horns behind our third eye called the lateral ventricles. And this is why you want to see, you want a currency to envision abundancy for yourself or for the world. Okay, so it's all to do with a currency. Okay, that's why money is called a currency. So anyhow, the sun is there. And we also have Osiris right on the hammer of Orion. And I've explained this to you guys before. This is part of the cardinal points of the azimuthal grid. If you put the grid over Stellarium, uh, one of the cardinal points will come across that location in the sky. It's a very uh, esoteric location because it's the hammer. It's the hammer coming down, right? And Osiris is there. So he represents Egypt and the, uh, the king, right? The lion king. So now what I was really curious about was where the moon was, right? So it's a, it's a black moon and it is on Pollux, okay, the one twin of uh, Gemini, which is awesome because that's the ascended twin, okay? Now she is activating the DNA tree of life in this, in this ceremony. Everything is aligning to the sky when they're doing this. So it's really cool because she's, she's saying like, this is what this is all about. This is about us choosing to activate our DNA or not. So I know everybody's like, Oh, the queen's evil, da, 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 da. I don't care if she's evil or she's good. This is beyond my um, responsibility or anybody's responsibility, okay? This realm is half good, half evil. It's not your responsibility to fix this realm. You, your only responsibility is to fix yourself and how you resonate in this polarity. So all you're, you have control of is how you're um, responding. Now, if you see the darkness and then you hate the darkness and you judge the darkness and you're freaked out by the darkness, you're attached to the dark, okay? Because your emotions are attached there. Now, if you see the darkness and see that it has a role to play and it's a gift to help you understand yourself, then you're activating from a source of light, okay? So this is how it works, okay? This is how the inner work works. It's all about kind of like coming to terms with you know, realizing you've been fooled and that, you know, things aren't right here and how your emotions deal with that, right? So anyhow, so this whole ceremony is activating the DNA, tree of life, which is really the Kabbalah tree, right? And now a lot of people think the Kabbalah tree is evil, but it's all spiritual path and it's all tied to the Hebrew alphabet. And scientifically, the Hebrew alphabet is on the Taurus 
field, the, the Taurus, or, you know, Taurus constellation, it is all connected to the Taurus, okay? So this is science. It's not um, religion, okay? The Kabbalah tree is really based on, uh, towards logic, okay? And most other religions don't like that. They don't want you to be in a logical state. They want you be, to be in a belief state, okay? So we have Jupiter and Mars on the tail of the whale, which is all to do with beliefs, right? It's the um, Pisces as, as religion, spiritual beliefs, and Jupiter also it means, uh, you know, uh, in Pisces is I believe. That's the mantra for Pisces. So we have that going on as well. Okay, so then we have Venus is on the hand, the head of the, of the beast. Uh, Sitis is known as the hand of God. So Venus is on the hand of God because everything is tied to the hand. The human hand. And I'm going to do a video on Washington, D.C. and Pi and Phi and how it all relates to the hand. Okay, they built Washington, D.C. to, you know, all connected to our bodies. And it's how you connect to the hand of your hand to the hand of God. It's all to do with our five fingers, okay, because it's all to do with the number five, which is Venus, right? Venus makes the pentagram. Okay, so. Anyhow, so I was just so excited to see all this um, and that it's all aligning to the sky. So I just wanted to do this quick video. And then you can see here that they have the tree of life, the whole, the lights, you know, it's all the DNA activating and then it shoots up the tree, the trunk of the tree. The trunk of the tree is twisted in DNA. And I believe it's a pine tree or representing a pine tree, which is to do with the penal gland, right? Then that's why they have the pine cone at the Vatican. And uh, so then it lights up. So this is like a ceremony to say, look, look, guys, this is what this is about. Get in balance. Balance your state of mind. You have to be in theta bliss state. And this also ties to the Kabbalah tree. And I will teach you guys all that, okay? How 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 it all connects to the Hebrew letters and the Kabbalah tree. And um, yeah, and I've decided I'm done waiting for my website to be done. Uh, I'm, uh, it's getting frustrating for me now. I was wanting to move forward. So I am going to start Zoom meetings, uh, teachings. I think that's the easiest way for me to do that. You guys can email me. Let me know if you're interested. I'll send you, um, you know, the cost. It's going to be really reasonable. If you want to be in on the meeting, what I want to do is actually um, create a Zoom call and you can be in on the meeting and then ask questions after. I'll only be for the teaching part, and then I will present that for people to have access to as well if you don't want to be in the actual live, okay? But if you want to be in the live, you can ask me questions after, and we can have group discussions, and we can do this. Um, I was thinking every two weeks, and I was going to throw that out to you guys to see if you want to do it every two weeks or once a month. I'd like your feedback on that so we can, you know, start to create these classes. And um, I think it's probably the easiest way rather than waiting for all the tech for the website and, you know, getting all that set up. So anyhow, this is exciting, guys. The Tree of Life has been activated. How amazing. They use the time of 9.30 and 9 is the 21st hour. So the 21st being the universe card. And then they use the number three, which is the Trinity, but also the third card, which is the High Priestess. And I guess the queen represents the high priestess, and that is represented by the door. Okay, so they use the times, the codes, the sky, and that's it. They've activated the DNA, tree of life. Here we go, guys. It's full steam ahead. Let's go. Let's date all the way. Envision what you want with your third eye, your pine cone. Connect to the Taurus field, the frequency, the new earth that we want.